Hi everyone. It's not always easy to like have a sketch and then decide on how much color, how many colors, uh, how to approach something like that. So today in this video I would like to show you that even with just a couple of markers like these one, two, three, four, five, you can really come a long way in making a very atmospheric coloring uh, of your line work and that translates to any sketch that you might make. Uh, I will show you how to achieve depth uh, through play with light and let's jump right in and see where this goes. Enjoy! So first one that I'm going to use is this Pro Marker and it's the Y717. It's the lightest of the set that I have here. And for this, with this one, I'm going to quickly, first of all, already like plan where all my darks will go. Uh, but I will do that with the lightest uh, marker that I have. And I will keep this area light. I will let the white of the page uh, determine the light in my sketch. So, but apart from that, I will imagine that this is like uh, also like shadow play. And slowly from that, I will go darker or uh, uh, basically will cover. I will let the light from the roof like shine through here. This will give some shadow there. Uh, and the shadow, if the light comes from here, if it hits from here, this ledge, which is an overhang, will catch shadow. Same as this one, same as this one. And since this is almost all in shadow, I will keep some lights in there. You see that I don't really like color in a whole plane because that will kill the life out of your sketch. Uh, I will keep these light shards in there. Uh, they're very important um, in making a sketch come alive and stay alive. Doing some touches and already like also like indicating some of these areas here and these wooden beams. This is a half timbered house that I sketched uh, some time ago uh, on a photograph of Manu Manu. I really exaggerated a lot of the proportions because the original building is uh, looks completely different. So but I think this is good. This is how I would like to end up with this lightest color. It still looks a little dark, but you will see, especially on your own sketches, that once this dries out, uh, it'll dry a little bit lighter. So next one up, let me put this one. Well, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'll pick the darker one. You can see here the difference and in the light, it's even more different. But continuing uh, on this same vein, I will make the shadows in the shaded areas even darker under this roof that overhangs here and there. Again, leaving some life, but slowly going darker. Imagine that there's a, a row of houses that is uh, standing right in opposite of this building. And if you take a closer look, you will see how much uh, effect and light play that you already have by just having two uh, separate colors. So always remember that uh, you don't have to have these zillions of colors. When I started out, I had only like a couple of uh, like five or six. Add some dots. Um, 
like I said, I only had like uh, a couple and these were really, really, really very vivid colors, uh, which didn't look good. And that's probably one of the things that you might want to look out for. And that is don't really go for the really bright colors here. Uh, the colors are pretty uh, desaturated. Uh, it says Y for yellow, but uh, I hardly think there's yellow. It's more like a grayish green. But these two, like the Y616 and the Y717, this one, they are really a favorite combination of mine. And uh, like you already see, you have this recessed area here, which is really going back because I made it darker. And you have this play of lights. I keep the top part lighter because light hits from the top. And to even push back these receded areas, uh, these recessed areas more, I will take this one uh, is a warm gray five from Promarker. I push it even further, not too much, uh, not everywhere because then things start to really look ugly uh, so I keep it sparingly again this looks quite dark uh, but things will dry out lighter but again still being cautious as to not overdo stuff because uh, if the contrast is really high uh, the illusion also gets a little bit lost some here, some shadow over there. Again, always keeping in mind uh, the direction of the light, which I have it come from the top left. So everything like this building overlaps this section. And once it overlaps the section, all the rest here will stay in shadow. I will keep it away uh, with this warm gray five uh, from here. Again, this will dry up much lighter than what you see here, but uh, to keep it okay in the video, I will not overdo it here. I might try and add some of these beams, uh, add some more accentuation there. But again, I also want to keep this nice and clean for the video. And uh, that would be like the darker. So you have a very light, a little bit less light, so slightly darker, and then a pretty much darker color for in the really deep recesses. And that is it. What you can do next is add some warmth. Uh, it's That's just a play of light. Basically, if you look at this, this is already quite nice. Um, me being the fiddly one that I am, uh, I will add some shadow, some darker shadow part here, like with this house. But again, I don't try and make this all very nice. Forgot this window there. I don't try to make this nice because if you really fill in colors like that, uh, the sketch starts to lose its life. So this one, let me show it. It's 937 Coral. It is a very attenuated orangey earth color. And for that, you might imagine that maybe in some places there's a little light uh, or a little warmth or it has like a red door. And you could add, because this is a darker a color, a darker value and a saturate, more saturated color um, and a warmer one. You can see that it remains dark, but since it has a, a different hue, uh, this warmish uh, orangey kind of color, it really makes these areas uh, come to life. And I don't want to overdo that as well. Um, so basically, let me just add a little touch of the dark here. Like usually windows make them darker. Uh, 
Why? Because uh, during the day, uh, windows look like holes in the wall. And okay, there might be curtains, but uh, actually making them darker sometimes really helps push in the depth uh, in your sketch. So you might add some cool in some and you could exaggerate that. Like here in these areas here, the cool will really play very nicely against this warm color here. And I will of course tell you the colors, uh, the color that I use here. Here I forgot the door. That's not really that big of a deal. Again, playing with these lines and just not using a marker like, okay, I have to fill in something, uh, gives you much more life. And by over painting like these strokes, you will get lots of nice color interaction there. So this color is the B617 Cornflower from Pro Marker. And basically you see in a very short while once you have your sketch uh, you can color it with just a limited amount of color with a limited amount of uh, markers you can really get a very 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 interesting sketch I will make these line drawings uh, uh, available I will scan in this one I will put in all the colors that I use for this one uh, and put it on Gumroad so you can experiment with that for yourself and enjoy practicing your coloring. I hope this has been a very short, brief, but interesting uh, video for you. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.